Okay. So we're gonna start the day. Your face blurs. Are you sick? Do you know Maria? It's better to be careful with her. She's more terrible when she loves than when she hates. I knew her when you weren't even here. She is always unpleasant. This devotress justifies villains and criminals. We shall make friends with her, yes. I see a worthy fighter. Are you a soldier or an inquisitor? No, I'm an architect, and one of the most dangerous people in this town at the same time. Oh, I almost got the feeling that I was the most dangerous person in the town. You want to challenge me for that title? Let's contend. Ah, you'll outdrink me, it's a sure thing. Haha, <laughs> you're a joker, man. Nah, such questions aren't decided by means of vodka. Let's see who will be the undoing of the most people in the next few days. Let's say ten days, hmm? I don't kill people, I save their lives. I'm a surgeon. Run from here! Run! There is nothing left to do here. We are leaving, my brother and I. We'll give away what we have. I don't give a damn about that stuff anyway. Perhaps even give it to you. It's good at the, that the moment is right. You see how the prices have gone up? A great time for speculation. If you have a starting sum of money, you'll be able to become a millionaire in one day. So why don't you just get down to business, then? I don't need to. I'm cut off from the rest. I'll just take my brother with me and get out of here. I don't care about anything else. We'll be okay together. What of the money? You'll just give it to me? I have money. A lot of it. Four thousand. In local value. I want a tiny nothing for it. I need brown twire. Ten stems, no less. Straight, clean ones. No flaws. No color. Preferably named ones, but that isn't necessary. The brown one will, lead, will yield to you. You are a menku, deal? I don't get it. How am I supposed to make a fortune by tonight? You didn't get it? With my money, you'll be able to buy a whole load of stuff and sell it three times the price at a shop. A verified information. What shop? I ain't telling you that. Don't worry. My sources are reliable. Victor won't let us down either. It's sealed with the canes. They've no time for trade matters anyway. Keep the prices rising. Well, what do you say, huh? You want some brown twire? Okay, you'll have it by tonight. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, it's 4.15 right now. Um, I've run around quite a bit and collected, I think I have nine brown twire. Oh, I can't click on anything. Um, so uh, I just need one more before I can return to him. Um... I was hoping that... Oh, fight's going on over there. Uh, we'll avoid it for now. Like I was going to say, I am banking on uh, being able to talk to the next character we're headed to before the day starts. So, uh, hopefully that's the case, that I can talk to him. If not, I will cut the video, maybe go sleep for a couple hours, and then get back to it. Not one of our usual characters, so that's why I'm banking on being able to talk to him. Because our first quest... I don't think we have the letters for today yet. Um, so I guess I'll just keep my mouth shut. We're headed way out to the bog. Te talk to the next character. I remember actually who gives you this quest. Alright, we're gonna check the map. 
Alright, my orientation is correct currently, but uh, by the time we get out there I'll probably have gotten turned around somewhat. I am looking for Twire. Um, that kind of looks like one. <laughs> Wrong kind though. Um, they usually stick out pretty well to me. Um, if I'm just flying through, I'll miss them a lot of the time. Ah, there's my tenth brown twire. We are good to go on Andre's quest. Alright. No longer need to pay attention for twire. <laughs> Unless I want to. Oh yeah, looks like he's not here. Damn. Well then. I guess we wandered out here for uh, almost nothing. Oh, sorry I didn't read that. Um, he actually doesn't want to trade with me. Um, yet. So, um, sorry that I wasted the time walking out here. I guess I'm gonna go see if young Vlad will talk to us. If not, I'm just gonna sleep at young Vlad's house for a couple hours, I think, and then head back here. Um, yeah, this kinda sucks. Just a little bit. Surprised I'm not seeing more twire. Oh, there's one. Yeah, it's, it sticks out pretty easily, um, at least in my vision, because uh, it's usually a lot taller than uh, these plants around here. So if you're looking and you just see something that's a little bit taller, that's uh, gonna be your twire. Um, there are, of course, uh, spots that I've just memorized through multiple playthroughs of the this game. Um, I thought I saw one for a sec. A little harder to see around there, but... Yeah, as you play through, you, you kind of remember where they are. It makes it a little easier. Interestingly, who else is spotted by them? I, knew, I know who stands before me. You are Ard Artemy Barak, right? This is Lucky. We are hoping to gain your support. How do you know me? I am Vlad Olgimsky. I'm the younger one, though. You can call me Young Vlad. Surely, until I've become the Elder, I hope that won't happen soon. If you respect your father just as I respect mine, then I'm truly sorry about your loss. We've been expecting you. Thank you. However, the business needs to be finished. Master Barak, we've prepared a shelter for you. This is well-timed. You mustn't think, though, that we are refusing you the shelter of our home. We will always be happy to dislocate you there. My sister and I have persuaded our father that the clot should be your fortress. However, your enemies are mighty. The best defense for them is invisibility. What kind of shelter is it? It's your father's secret laboratory. It isn't a pretentious place, but it is hidden from the prying eyes. I don't know mm, what kind of things you will be up to, but... If at least a tenth of Katarina's, Katharina's uh, prophecy is to come true, then you will need a, a lonely secret place. That's just what I need. Moreover, Bachelor Denkovsky has spoken to me. He is taking, taking a, taking. He is taking a lot of care in you lately. He hinted that you might need your father's uh, potion brewing apparatus. It is there. Is it that same apparatus that my father used? Yes, you must remember what wonderful properties the herb Twire possesses. You can feel the spicy smell- Can you feel the sp spicy smell in the air? That is Twire. Twire is a great rarity all by itself, but if you use the apparatus with skill, you can make- Well, you'll get the hang of it soon. Uh, okay, so that means the people do actually know about this place, right? Of course. I don't know if Isidore used to bring his students over there and, mm, strangers, but knowing his character, it is hard to make that presumption. I think they don't. I learnt of its whereabouts by accident, anyway, so it's well hidden. Okay, show me where it is. 
All right, we're... Don't say that you never expected that. Thank you. Okay, um... I'm gonna sleep two hours. Just to, uh, get us into a position. Less than 11 days remain. The morning of the second day has come. All right, start walking. Day two, the only day which during which Herspicus will gain more than he'll lose under any circumstances. Uh, should I go back out to the worm? Uh, we could go hit him later. Now I feel like I should go back. Um, all right, so um, Vadislav Holgimsky's invitation. The problem with your heritage has been solved. Come to see me for instructions. Be careful, Olgimsky. That's the older Olgimsky who sent us a letter. Um, and that's where I'm headed to first. We'll see if I can uh, do this day pretty efficiently. Um, I'm gonna try to keep the trading on a low. Maybe almost nothing even. So, uh, hopefully I can stick to that. Just because, uh, I have quite a few items right now. Um, I had a pretty good haul yesterday. So I, I really don't need much. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get us through quickly. Okay, Big Vlad. A wrong time to start the struggle. I have a few news for you, Master Barak. Most of them are bad, but I do have a good one. Begin with the good one. You can come into possession of your heritage. Nobody will dare get in your way. They have no proof against you. You can take the key from Alexander Sabrov. I can't imagine how they got in his hands, but never mind. That's the good news. Who is this Alexander? As you can see, I am not the only one uh, bearing the weight of power in this town. It is divided between three families, Olgimsky, Kane, and Sabrov. The Sabrov family is, hmm, the executive power, the compelling apparatus, so to say. What are the bad news? The bad news are as follows. I've spoken to Sabrov about your affairs. Well, without any exaggeration, he's furious. It seems that uh, he is going to destroy you, regardless of my warrant and my protectorate. How have I managed to enrage him so? I suppose he is not the problem. It's his wife, Katharina, mistress, a woman of mystical talents. Never mind what kind of woman she is, but her opinion is respected. Well, she had this vision that you were going to perform uh, some terrible massacre. According to that prophecy, you were going to glorify yourself in that way. Uh, everyone has their ups and downs. I do, do believe you, but what do we do? Alexander trusts his wife more than me. Such a discovery about your mission could make Sabarov happy, because it is his duty to maintain order. It seems that he has given an oath to stop you from carrying out that prophecy, no matter what. Is your name enough to stop him? Temporarily, yes. But the news of Simon Kane's death, the rumors of some epidemic... All this is tearing our small town apart. The people are scared. Alexander is demanding emergency powers. Now, if he gets what he asks for, I won't be able to help you in the same way I am now. The clot will not be able to defend you. So what do we do? We'll hope for the best. Just in case, I've asked for them to find you a secret place where you would be able to hide and continue your, continue your work. Even if Sabarov does get such uh, powers and asks me to turn you in, this place isn't exactly comfortable, but it's reliable. It will become your home. What kind of place? I've asked my son to take care of it. He will tell you about it, and I hope he will take you down there. In case you haven't seen him yet seen him, he is by some abandoned ruin near the station at the moment. You'll find him there. This will not pose any difficulty. Now the main thing, this bachelor, he's in charge around here now. The situation demands it. I don't trust him. I'm afraid he's trying to dig something out about us. He's clever, clever. That gift get from the capital. Uh, you better make friends with him. He will study anything required. Might give you some new thoughts. I will make sure he doesn't spoil anything. Come round to see him. Don't put this matter off. Thank you, boss. Lord have mercy on my poor soul. I've done so little for you. These crazy, terrible times. But you will get your father's heritage. Talk to Alexander and his wife, even. You, uh, use the short break that you have. I'll remind you of myself later. Okay. Um... Uh, 
uh, I think that's all he had to say. We will uh, venture forth. Um.